Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and on today's episode we are making fried rice with a twist and this fried rice recipe was just a top notch so hold on and just wait and see what the twist is all about as I'll be taking you straight to all the ingredients and the cooking process right after this intro. Don't touch the dial. <music> Straight to the ingredients, here is my finely chopped onions that I'll be using to steam the chicken and the gizzard. Here I have the blended mix of fresh pepper, ginger and garlic, all blended. Here also I have the peas and here I have the soy sauce. Here I have the vegetable oil which I'll be using to stir fry the veggies. Here is the salt to taste, here are the dried ingredients. I have the black pepper, I have the chicken spice, I have the thyme, I have the white pepper, I have the seasoning cube and also also the curry also people I have the sweet corn the dried onions and also I have the word finely chopped paprika and also have the mushroom which is the twist in this recipe okay so also I have the long beans nicely chopped the carrot also nicely and finely chopped here i have the basilicum leaf this is another twist and here is my butter that i'll be using to fry here is the white onions which i'll be using for the stir frying of the veggies you can see i have two onions already there so here is the parboiled rice that i'll be washing with hot water and salt so here let's season the chicken as you can rightly see i added in the onions and a little of all the dried ingredients already also, I'll be squeezing in the seasoning cube, which you are just seeing me doing right away. I'm just making it fast so that we don't stay long in this video. So I added in salt to taste, and also people, I'll be adding in words. I'll be adding in the blended mix of the pepper, ginger, and garlic. That is what you just saw me add it in. And then here, I just stirred. I'm showing you the gizzard that is in the pot. I'll be chopping that gizzard into the veggie stir later on. So this is it all nicely mixed did you like the way i marinated this chicken of course you can do overnight but i just want to do this because i needed to serve this food today so people you can see how i've turned that up i did add in water allowed it to bring out its juice on the low heat so i just added in boiled hot water to make sure that the cooking process continues and i just stir that and i'll cover until steams up so at this point the chicken is cooked after 10 to 15 minutes remember this is a soft chicken and it cooks faster so i'm taking that out and i'll be grilling the chicken later on and i'm also going to be showing you a tip that i use in making my fried rice so hold on and watch the tip now i am going to be pouring in the whole chicken stock into a sieve a tiny sieve this is the tip i'm talking about i'm taking out the gizzard and now i'll be left with stuff like a little bone from the chicken that looks that will be looking like a stone in your rice if you don't see that out so take care of that tea and i added in boiled hot water added in seasoning cube and i'm pouring the rest of the whole dried ingredient and i covered and this cooked up i added in my what my parboiled rice remember i did not parboil this rice i only used salt and hot water to do the washing of the starch and it came out so well so this have covered and now i'm grilling the chicken and now i'm adding in dried onions into this my rice that is the aroma that comes in this recipe the dried onions gives it that a standing aroma you can see rice is cooked standing as usual so here i've put in hot oil we are still frying everything i added in the onions the gizzard the mushroom i added in the carrot i added in the um, bean, the green peas i also added in the basilicum leaf i added in seasoning cube i added in curry i added in white pepper in fact i added in everything needed to make this recipe so that i'll be leaving in what in description box for you to do what check out at your convenience i'm making this fast remember if you're making this for an occasion remember to do what to the fry as long as possible so that your rice doesn't get soured before it's being served you can see me adding in the butter after i've added in all the dried ingredients this butter gives it that a steady and very shiny look at the end of the cooking so you can see this and now i've just added in words the soy sauce all list of ingredients can be found where at the description box so make out your time to watch and now i added in the sweet corn and the 
spring onions that is what was added last before we started stir frying the words the rice so it is time to stir fry the rice or you want to toast the rice this is the time to do or subscribe in case you're new and please don't forget to share this video don't forget to like and don't forget to comment is this how you love to make your rice your fried rice recipe please do you like to add mushroom just let me know that in the comment section and i do appreciate it so as you can rightly see people i'm taking my time to stir fry this rice look at it just make sure you fry the vegetable and the rice don't add in water some people say add in water please thumbs up this video because it is worth it you can see all the tips i've left for you remember the hot water tip remember also the sieving out of the chicken stock so that works it doesn't get bones in the rice after cooking look at the stack on set and the rice is ready <laughs> look at it nice Nicely cooked, nicely served with my coleslaw, with what's the word? My chicken, nicely grilled, and everything standing. Did you see the giza? Did you see the mushroom? Everything in this one bowl. So thumbs up this video, share, comment, like, and hopefully people on a good and pleasant note. It will be a great pleasure to have all your beautiful and gorgeous looking faces in the next episode of Mom as a Kitchen and More. Remember, I love you all, but in all, God loves you most. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.